Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of AK Prospecting. Today we're going to talk about gold recovery from Ethernet cables. Um, they can be very stubborn and very difficult to recover. Uh, phone cables also. So what I want to do is show you guys uh, what to look for. Now there's two types of Ethernet cable. Um, there's this kind of Ethernet cable right here and you can see that's real heavy gold plate. Now, it, now there's two types. There's kind with heavy gold plate here but when you turn it to the side, it's actually silvery in color. And we, that's not what we want. See, we have gold here and we have gold here. So this is the guy we want. You're gonna, if you encounter these, these I don't usually mess with because if you look, see how they're hiding it? So it's, it's, I, it's you know, good bet that this is not plated on the side. This must have got in there somehow. Um, but you want to stay away from the metal ones generally they're no good um, unless you have a gold plated out metal backing um, if you see these just they're no good um, so what you do you see these guys here with the heavy gold plating on the front heavy gold plating on the side these are the guys you're gonna want so now all you gotta do is get yourself a nice sharp pair of bolt cutters and now you're gonna see this line I want to point this out to you here. This is important. There's a line right on the back here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, right on the back here, there's like a little plastic ridge. All right, that's going to be that line where you're going to want to put your bolt cutters. So we're going to get that all lined up and get it in there in such a way. So now we don't want to hurt the pins, we just want to clip them off. Now there it is, you can see how we got a little bit of distance and we're right on that line. Now all you do from there is, I like to keep my finger on the front and back, everybody's different, and then all you do is punch down and pull this part off just like this and now you're left with this little guy right here. All right, and then what you do is you chuck them in here with all the rest of them, right? And let me see if I can zoom in on that. But here's what we have so far ready to go. Now, after you're probably saying to yourself, okay, Ken, well, how do you get them out of there? Well, the next step is what we have here is a Cobra Crusher. This is a uh, you know, we use this when we're trying to sample different ores, when we're trying to uh, hard rock mine. Uh, a lot of different prospectors will use this, especially in hard rock mining, if they feel they uh, have good gold uh, per ton. Um, we use this out in the field, um, different areas to try to find hard rock mines and things like that. Um, but we also, this is also a great tool for um, gold recovery from electronics. So now, this will go, the uh, waste from this we'll go back to the recycler is insulated wire so nothing gets wasted there and what we're gonna do is show you the batch we have now we got this big batch of uh, Ethernet cables here we're gonna cut these all down and see how many pins we can recover and uh, how quickly we can do it and then we're going to do the gold recovery on that to see what we can actually recover so we have a quicker turnover rate. The whole idea is uh, we want to do this in such a way to where somebody at home, um, if they have access to a lot of um, parts and pieces, they can process it quickly so you know they might be able to turn a, a profit. Um, generally you're not going to be able to, you know it's a hobby, um, but you know with certain tricks and coming up with better ways um, maybe you can make a couple dollars and that's that's what we're here to do so uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one and uh, the next one's gonna be part two um, part two of gold recovery from Ethernet cables thank you guys for so much for tuning in uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you on part two